Good morning, everyone. This is your surprise video. Hi. Meet the Mitchell family. Uh, this one is a little bit different because we do have a little leftover footage um, from this week that I wanted to include. Um, and one of the things I really want to include is my recipe for my Coffee? lasagna, lasagna soup. soup. Which sounds crazy, but it's actually delicious. Really good. It's really good. The boys love it. Um, so I'm going to be sharing that with you and a couple other things as well as maybe I'll pick up back later in the day. We'll see how this goes. You know, I love to play our bonus video by air. So, yeah, we just came to pick up pumpkin pie, yeah. coffee and a, a chocolate, chocolate croissant, croissant from Mama. And so, we got a pumpkin pie for yeah. me. What I'll do is pumpkin mm. pie dough come out of the bag. We're gonna run, and we will catch up back a little bit later. Bye. Part of birthday shenanigans is that I told them that I would make something that Dante liked that I made the other day. And he was like, Auntie, can I make a request? Oh, that's where the request came that's from. That's where the request came from. So I'm making a deconstructed lasagna or a lasagna soup, as they call it. I mentioned it on a vlog before, and I told you guys I'd give you a fake cooking show on it. So today's your lucky day. So we are heading to Lo San now, and I think I'll do like a grocery haul on the things that I'm going to get for the deconstructed lasagna, and later on, I will do. Um, Cooking show for you guys. All right, so on the road now, guys. It's raining cats and dogs. It is wow. In Jamaica, in Kingston City, right now. Did I tell my MTM family that I got a new book last night mm -hmm. while I was at the show? I book up into I Nation Bookras, who has been supplying me with books for as long as I remember oh myself. Oh gosh, oh, I remember that so well. The whole time we're dating. I am not the man that I am without iNation books. iNation books have, have like really helped me to expand my um, my thought process, my understanding of the world and how it works. And um, I'm so proud of him. When he see him set up and him have him, him, have him card machine and everything in a time I don't wow. but I feel like him not read the books too, you know, no, and I course. expand for him thing, you know. Does Normal. he have like an Instagram or something? Like he a way people can get in touch with him? He has a phone number okay, that you can should call I put it up? Please. That's okay? okay? Yes, that is a hundred percent fine. And guys, if you want some books, call iNation, yeah? And it's after good his books that you're not going to get in a bookstore. It's books that you will never find and, and chances are, without knowing iNation, you will never get this type of book. It's yeah. not in commercial um, libraries, bookstores. And he's good at like recommending that. too. He's great at recommending. So link him, link him. I'm a G, so link him. That is it.
so I am doing something I've never done before on this vlog. I'm doing a voiceover. I figured it would be a really great way to kind of walk you through this recipe that I love so much. I don't know about you, but I love when I find a new recipe and I can just implement it and make it a family favorite instantly. I just rough chop some onions. Here I am smashing about four cloves of garlic and just roughly chopping them. Then I choose my favorite pot. It really is my favorite pot that was gifted to me years ago by one of our subscribers. Hey girl. And and literally you can use any pot you have it just has to be deep enough to fit all of the meat and the pasta because this is a one pot meal I'm just covering the bottom of the pot with some yummy olive oil you can use whatever you like one of my favorite things to add is ghee and ghee is basically just clarified butter but as you know butter makes everything better and really I've only been able to find ghee at low shoe sand so uh, you should definitely check Check there for it add the onions and the garlic and if you know you know how my house is smelling right about now I wait for everything to caramelize a little bit before I add the minced beef now again you can use ground turkey you can use ground chicken you can use ground pork if you like I just happen to like this recipe with beef because that's kind of how I've always done my lasagna then you're gonna start your seasoning and I say start because this is an ongoing process anybody who's cooked you know that you have to taste and check and taste and check so we start with a base of just salt also some whole oregano dried oregano and of course it never comes out of the top enough so just pop it off I'm also gonna add some basil leaves uh, because I, like I said I just like the way it makes everything so delicious you can't go wrong with lots of onion powder lots of garlic powder as well and some people might not agree with this next step but I love it I do always add a little brown sugar to my meat sauce uh, I think real Italians think that this is like uh, not the way to go but for me I'm like you know I don't have vine ripened tomatoes so I have to add like a little sugar speaking of which I also take a shortcut with using just a store-bought spaghetti sauce I used to make it from scratch guys and I used to slave over that sauce and tell you the truth at the end of it I didn't feel like it was that much better than uh, store-bought which I season up and doctor anyway of course I'm a real Jamaican so you know I'm adding liquor water shaking it up and getting every last drop out because I couldn't find any fresh basil I went ahead and added some basil pesto and this is a locally made one which I really love and that's another thing I love about my supermarket you can find locally made products as well as all of the imported stuff which you know just make for a really great shopping experience here I'm adding some mushrooms you can totally leave this out you can also use frozen mushrooms just for the record now it does need to have a lot of liquid because we are going to be adding our pasta to it so I added a little more water and again we're seasoning as you can see in the background uh, while I'm cooking the guys were practicing their dance moves I added a little bit more pesto like I said because this is where I go back in and kind of just like check the flavor uh, you always have to do like a taste test and I went back in with some more salt some more seasoning and just made it yummy for our family you make it yummy for yours however you like it's very distracting cooking with those guys in the back listening to the same song over and over again but to be honest you know that's what family cooking is all about making it fun then we add the lasagna and I just basically break up all of the lasagna strips and put them in the pot if you can find the fancy little um, you know how they do the lasagna strips you can do those you can use any pasta you like we just like it with the lasagna then you stir it all together and then you're basically gonna cover it and let it cook now I don't care how many times I've cooked pasta I never remember how long it should be this one is 10 minutes so yeah we'll wait for 10 minutes while they practice their dance moves okay then all right mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, I needed more liquid so I added one small jar of Perigo to the mix and that seemed to be just about right. On the side I make a cream cheese sauce. 
so it's the base of it is cream and then i add these different cheeses to it and honestly to me this is the star of the show this is what brings everything together so you just heat it all through until it becomes this lovely melted yumminess i added some garlic bread sticks to the air fryer because it's so much easier than just cranking up the whole oven and literally it takes eight minutes and while that was happening i literally finished off my sauce which guys it's not the prettiest thing but it really is delicious i like to use a wider bowl so that you can cut your lasagna and see everything i even like to top ours off with some you know hot sauce like a bertie's hot pepper and of course the cheese sauce you add as much or as little as you like we love the creamy cheesy uh, sauce on top it's the star like I said of the show and you kind of just mix everything together once you serve it add a garlic breadstick and that is it everybody loved it no why me have two plates no why me have two plates nah don't do that no. are you birthday now your birthday now it's the birthday it's the birthday it's a birthday. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Right now, guys. Alright guys, so uh, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed that little uh, video of the lasagna one pot. I don't even know if I call it anymore. But it has become a family favorite. And like I said in the video, it's not the prettiest thing, but it is the yummiest thing. So you guys should definitely try it. I am just laying here and I'm waiting on Atlas because we are going to hit the road. Jackson has already um, got his extra lessons, come back and now he's off to a robotics um, match, I believe. Uh, Gio and Dante have gone to a football match and the rest of us are just hanging out here for a little bit. Momo and I keep reflecting today on the fact that it's been two weeks since her accident and how two weeks ago we were in such a different position to where we are now and how time and love and rest and care and medication <laughs> and prayers can all come together and change everything i look at momo and i'm like wow you look like six weeks recovered not just two but we're still being very gentle and cautious um about her daily activities, making sure that she's still resting. But as you know, Momo does like to be up and down. I, I always say she reminds me of me, like even after I have surgery or whatever, I like to be a part of the home, but I know how to take away myself. And she's the same, so yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying this Saturday video so far. I don't think it's gonna go on for much longer, um, but we will see you back on Monday for sure with a brand new vlog so before i go though i'm gonna check in with everybody so you can see hey what were you doing um i was trying to make me go on his bed so make sure you like and subscribe <laughs> so i told his bathing so i told you now bathing so you actually like doing everything like when he okay. does like Tricks on me. So this is just gonna be your thing when the camera they goes on you. you just, me. Okay. They just go. I won't see myself in the camera. Oh, okay, hold on. Call down below. Oh. So <laughs> I can subscribe <laughs> and call down below. Okay, Baba. I'm so sorry. I just use this now forever and ever. Then make sure to call down below for more of my videos. <laughs> for more of our videos okay. make sure to like and subscribe so call down below you know what is true? Uh, yeah. let me go edit this video